this is uh, this is the third day of the workshop uh, on string theory and, and discrete symmetries and so on. Uh, and we are starting the first session of this third day. Uh, our first speaker is Takeshi Morita, and he's going to tell us about D0 black hole thermodynamics from the BFSS metrics theory. Please, Takeshi, you have uh, 15 minutes, and I'll warn you on uh, five minutes to the last. Just to, okay, thanks. okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm. So thank please, you very please. much for uh, thank you for uh, thank you very much for introduction, and uh, thank you very much for inviting me. Uh, I, I should thanks to Shingo, but unfortunately he he cannot join this conference, although he uh, he did a lot of work. Uh, anyway, so uh, uh, so today uh, I like to explain these uh, topics. This is based on um, a bit of uh, old paper. This paper with uh, Shiba San and Toby and uh, uh, Peters, and also uh, I address some uh, new stuff to this work. And uh, okay, so uh, let me start from the introduction. So this, so this talk is uh, something about gauge gravity correspondence. And uh, 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 is there any problem? Uh, yeah, can I can I continue? Yes, please continue. Uh, show me. Uh, uh, show me. Would you close your mic, please? If, or if you have question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So oh. this is there. Please continue, please. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So. <clears throat> so this is. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so this is some uh, some very uh, uh, where where established uh, some uh, relation. Uh, we have some D brain and we have some uh, uh, gravity picture and uh, uh, gauge theory picture. And the question is whether this gauge theory can reproduce the uh, black hole result. And uh, today uh, I focus on diesel brain setup. So in the gauge theory side, we consider a uh, uh, so-called BFSS matrix theory. And uh, uh, in the gravity side, uh, we consider 2A or M theory. And uh, so the question is by using this uh, BFSS matrix theory, uh, we can explain uh, this kind of uh, some black hole result. And uh, uh, Okay, so uh, first, uh, let me briefly explain this uh, gravity side. Uh, so if we consider a diesel brain, uh, sorry, N diesel brain, and uh, uh, putting at some finite temperature, and then uh, gravity tells us uh, in some uh, strongly coupled region, it's equivalent to some uh, low temperature region, uh, the free energy of the system shows uh, something like this. So. Uh, so this free energy proportional to n square. This is a very uh, typical uh, uh, factor uh, uh, since we are considering an <clears throat> adjoint gauge theory. So uh, usually it proportional to n square. But other uh, temperature and coupling dependence is uh, very complicated. So here uh, 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 the factor is fourteen over five, and uh, the time is uh, the, this lambda is a coupling of the gauge theory, and uh, sorry, two fifth coupling of the gauge theory, and uh, it also depends on some funny factor. And uh, uh, not only that, uh, if we go further low temperature region, uh, sometimes this is called some M, M theory region. Uh, phase transition happens, so around T C goes to n to minus five over nine times lambda something, uh, a phase transition happens. And uh, below this temperature, uh, this free energy behaves uh, something like this. So there, uh, uh, even n square doesn't appear. Some funny factor of n dependence appear and uh, uh, looks very complicated. And But in the, in the gravity picture, uh, this uh, kind of transition can be explained. So, uh, so in in, uh, in this uh, two way regime, uh, this uh, so we have uh, the picture is as follows. So as you know, we have in M theory we have this eleven dimensional circle, and uh, 
And so uh, this uh, two-way picture is, uh, works uh, if uh, we cannot see any uh, this 11 dimensional de uh, dependence. So, uh, so it means, so if we observe a black hole in, in two-way theory, uh, this black hole should have some translation symmetry and uh, uh, along this uh, 11th direction. So from the viewpoint of this uh, 11 dimensional picture uh, or MCR picture, this is not a black hole, but a black string, uh, which uh, wrapping this uh, 11th direction and uh, uh, there's no uh, this uh, dependence along this uh, 11 direc uh, 11th direction. On the other hand, uh, if we go to uh, very low temperature, uh, it means horizon is very small, then uh, this configuration is more stable. So the black hole can localize, localize along this uh, 11th direction. So, or, or so uh, as we go to strong, strong coupling region, uh, so effectively this, uh, the size of this uh, 11th direction can be regarded as large, and then uh, this configuration is more stable. So uh, it is natural to expect that a kind of gregory Laplace transition occurs along this 11th direction. So this is this phase transition. Okay, so this is a story of the gravity side. And uh, the qu today's question is whether we can explain this kind of uh, behavior from this uh, metric theory. And uh, so far, uh, I cannot explain mm, this picture exactly. But we can use some dimensional analysis and under some suitable assumptions. We, uh, I, I will show that this kind of behavior can be uh, explained uh, qualitatively, not, not quantitatively. quantitatively. OK, so uh, this is the uh, 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 aim of this talk. And uh, any questions so far? OK, so, so before going on, um, I'm just trying to see if I uh, get the main picture. What happens to n, which is the number of zero brains in this uh, uh, after the gergor laughlin phase transition in the lump that okay, you have but, here? Oh, um, n is only fixed. N is fixed. But the n is the number of uh, light cone momenta over the circle. Ah, right? uh, yes, yes. So, so uh, uh, yeah, so this uh, this object has, uh, carries the, that uh, moment. So in a sense, it's uh, maybe we, uh, we can regard this, it's moving, right? yeah. It has a, a, a moment, so. Okay. Yeah. So it's like a boosted object or what oh, is yes, it? Boosted. Yes, bo boosted object, All right. Okay, so it's not a standard Gergor uh, in, in the sense, yes, but uh, there's some charged version and so on. So, yeah, still, yeah, kind of. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's a okay. yeah, good point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Okay, so, okay, so uh, let me start to uh, explain this the, the more detail about this PFS systematic theory. So, the action is given by here, and the field content is. Uh, X and A naught and uh, fermion psi. And we have uh, nine scalars uh, and uh, one uh, gauge field and uh, uh, yeah, fermion and all of them are n by n matrices. And uh, the action is this one. And this can be regarded as uh, some dimensional reaction of a 10 dimensional super theory. Uh, okay, so, uh, and it uh, describes some uh, motion of uh, N D zero brain, something like this, and uh, the the position of the D brain is uh, captured by the diagonal component of this uh, X field. So it, we have a uh, nine X field, and each of them corresponds to uh, this uh, uh, nine dimension of this uh, one plus nine dimensional space space time, and uh, so and also we have this N uh, uh, diagonal component, and this N corresponds to this the number of the brains. And today, uh, I mainly discuss some dimensional reactions. So the, the mass dimension of these uh, quantity is important. So first of all, uh, this X, all the field has, uh, sorry, X and A has dimension X, one, mass dimension one. And uh, also uh, this coupling, uh, this uh, lambda has dimension three. Okay, so uh, then, uh, 
Let us start some uh, dimensional analysis. So first, we consider a perturbative calculation. This, so this is a, some standard approach to evaluate some the free energy of the system. So then uh, the, we can expand uh, as follows. So first of all, all so we have uh, n square degree of freedom. So we, we naively expect that this factor, uh, this uh, free energy proportional to n square. And uh, then uh, from the dimension analysis, this free, free energy should uh, have a mass dimension one. So correspondingly, uh, we, we have, uh, it should be proportional to temperature T. And uh, also we are considering some part of the calculation. So the leading factor should not depend on lambda. So then uh, only this numerical factor can appear. So, so at the leading order of this uh, part of the calculation, the free energy should be proportional to n square times t. That's all. And if we are interested in some higher order correction through this uh, uh, part, of it, uh, part of the calculation, the leading correction would be lambda over t3. Since lambda has a mass dimension three, uh, so in order to make dimension less, uh, this uh, t, t to three should appear. So in this way, uh, we can do some part of the calculation, but uh, it looks very, very different from this uh, gravity uh, projection. And indeed, uh, so this uh, gravity projection is for some strongly coupled uh, case. And since uh, from the dimensional analysis, so this uh, lambda over T to three is a sort of uh, dimensionless combination. So this strong coupling means uh, this lambda over T to three is uh, large. So it, it's a opposite limit to this uh, part of the picture. So this, this kind of disagreement is na natural. On the other hand, so from this uh, kind of expansion, it looks very difficult to reproduce uh, this uh, behavior. So maybe uh, uh, doing some part of the calculation is not, uh, not good at all. And maybe we should change some strategy. Okay, so, uh, this is about part of the calculation. So this will not work. Uh, by the way, uh, this, this combination looks very complicated, but uh, if you uh, carefully uh, check the dimension, uh, it, indeed it, it has mass dimension one uh, corresponding to this uh, mass of the, uh, sorry, mass dimension of the free energy. Okay, so then uh, we should avoid this kind of approach and uh, change some uh, uh, the method. So here uh, we uh, use another approach and there are several work uh, related to this, uh, uh, this approach. Okay, so uh, the, uh, the assumption is uh, starting from Coulomb branch. So Coulomb branch means uh, this diagonal component of X field uh, has some uh, uh, large BEV and this and treat this off diagonal component as some uh, uh, some massive mode and integrate out this uh, this uh, massive mode first. So indeed, uh, if you look at this uh, uh, action, so this if if we do such kind of decomposition, I mean this diagonal component and the diagonal component, so this interacting term can be regarded as a master. Uh, so so we can uh, we can uh, substitute this kind of expansion to here, and then you see uh, the uh, here you see this term. So uh, this term looks like a mass term uh, uh, by regarding this diagonal component as uh, some mass and uh, this. So, uh, so, so this relation tells us that if uh, this, uh, the web of the curl, uh, this diagonal component is uh, large, then uh, this mass of, uh, for this X field large and we can integrate out this part first. So, so then we can do the following uh, expansion. So by integrating, by integrating out uh, this part and keep this uh, diagonal component, we can obtain some effective action for this diagonal component. And uh, the action has, should have this kind of expansion form. And here we so expansion is based on this, uh, some part of the calculation with this, uh, for this uh, integrating out. So Okay, so uh, then, uh, so this here one loop means one loop of this massive field, and two loop means uh, the, one, the two loop of, for this, uh, again, this massive field. 
And all the calculation, we keep this X field as, as it is. Okay, so then we got the, the following result. So for three part, uh, this is a sort of classical part. Uh, we obtain this part. This is nothing but the uh, uh, kinetic term of this, this term. And if we uh, insert that diagonal form, uh, this part uh, disappear since this is commutator square. So uh, there's no potential for the diagonal component. And here for simplicity, we just ignore these, these fermions. And uh, then uh, from the three part, uh, we, we obtain, uh, we only have this term. Okay, so, uh, so this is uh, uh, this part. And so we have n diagonal components, so we have n uh, such kind of uh, stuff. And uh, so, okay, so next we consider this one loop term. So there we can decompose uh, two contribution. One is called thermal, and another is called non thermal. So thermal means, uh, as I said, uh, we are considering integrating out of this uh, massive uh, component. And this uh, thermal means this uh, uh, massive field, uh, the, the loop of this ma massive field uh, wind this uh, temporal circle direction. So, so th this kind of contribution I just uh, mean, uh, called this uh, thermal. Uh, uh, contribution and the non summer means this loop does not uh, wind this uh, temporal circle, but just uh, 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 just uh, go around uh, some uh, topologically trivially. And okay, so then the feature of this uh, summer contribution is it must proportional to this factor. Uh, this is exponential uh, to minus beta times this xi and xj. The, the reason is very simple. So this uh, x i minus x j is a, is a, a mass of, the mass of uh, this uh, uh, the, uh, component, and so this is nothing but the uh, Boltzmann factor of this uh, octahedral component. So since uh, this go around this uh, uh, temporal circle, uh, it is natural to expect that the, this kind of factor does appear. This will happen for any massive uh, field. Uh, instead of this factor, but uh, uh, given as uh, the mass of this, uh, the field. So, so okay, so, so this is a feature of this uh, uh, thermal correction. Mm -hmm. Sorry, uh, may, may I ask a bit, maybe it's yeah. a bit technical. Uh, as you know, mm, we need to also impose the Gauss law, the commutator of X and X dot should be one, right? Uh, yes, that's kind of, yeah. So uh, we, and, uh, 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 I was just wondering whether that will uh, somehow have yeah, some that's effect. Very, very important. Yes, that is very important. So here today, for simplicity, I just explain all, all the uh, equation. I just uh, explain by using some dimension analysis. But uh, for for example, this one loop calculation, we can do it analytically, uh, and mm -hmm. uh, people have shown some result that that will agree with uh, 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 the dimension analysis, uh, which I will show. And uh, in that calculation, uh, of course, this kind of constraint should be yeah, uh, mm -hmm. taken into account. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So, yes. So, so assumption. So, so here I, I, I assume that this correction is uh, sub, uh, exponentially suppressed. And I will later check that this uh, assumption is uh, indeed work in the strong coupling region. Okay, so this is a, a thermal correction. And another co uh, contribution is this non thermal correction. So the feature is the supersymmetry works. Uh, as you know, uh, if you uh, consider this kind of thermal uh, contribution, since the periodicity, periodicity of the fermion differ from bosons, the supersymmetry is broken. So this kind of, so, so on the other hand, if uh, the uh, fermion doesn't go around this kind of uh, temporal circle. Uh, should Suji should work. So then, uh, this Suji restrict this uh, uh, this effective potential strong, very strongly. And the supersymmetry tells us that there would be no uh, polynomial correction like x to some factor. I mean, x to two or three or something. Uh, this kind of polynomial correction will not appear in this uh, effective action. Uh, uh, in addition, uh, supersymmetry forbid uh, this kind of uh, uh, 
correction to x dot to square term. And the corrections will start from uh, this x dot to four term. So then uh, this is uh, known from supersymmetry. And sorry, I, I will skip uh, the detail, but uh, please, uh, 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 please allow, allow me. Uh, so so be, please bear with me. Believe me. And uh, as I said, uh, we can explicitly show uh, this. Uh, we can explicitly co confirm this fact. So then the question is, what is this factor? Uh, that we can do, uh, we can estimate by using dimensional analysis. So uh, the action uh, has the following form. Uh, S should be proportional to this time integral. And also, uh, as I said, uh, it, this uh, radian correction should be proportional to x dot to 4. And uh, also in this uh, expansion, uh, this one loop term uh, should not depend on lambda. So uh, lambda dependence doesn't appear. Then uh, in order to compensate this uh, dimension of this uh, integral and this x dot four, indeed this integral has a mass dimension minus one and this x dot to four has mass dimension plus eight. So it means in order to compensate this uh, mass dimension, uh, we should have x to minus seven uh, factor. And uh, then uh, totally it becomes a dimension less. And by considering uh, the fact of some uh, translation invariance and so on, the correct factor should be something like this. So, uh, so since we, should, we have uh, an, uh, an diagonal component, uh, we should have uh, some, so this, this is a sort of uh, some uh, uh, two, two, uh, two particular interaction and, and uh, the correct form should be something like this. And as I said, uh, the, this, this can, this can be der derived and confirmed analytically, but uh, I, I, I skip it. But uh, anyway, so it so anyway, the point is through, through this kind of dimensional ana analysis, we can naturally expect this kind of interaction does appear. So this is by, by the way. So this uh, this is uh, uh, this is the sum of i and j to n. Uh, so this is as I said, this is a sort of uh, some two body two body interaction between d, d brands, and since we have n brands, so uh, this kind of pair can we can consider n square pairs of uh, this uh, two body interaction. So this uh, summation of uh, th this kind of things uh, naturally appears. Uh, okay, so be, uh, excuse me, may I ask a question? Uh, yeah. Are you assuming that uh, you're considering configurations which are S O nine invariant. In the, the, uh, yes. yes. Had. Yeah. And the question I, I have is uh, basically, uh, how do you make sure that uh, there are, um, for example, we can have black holes in lower dimensions, which are made out of uh, zero brains? The, the, the question yeah. is, well, why do you think that there are no other saddle points, which oh, do so not respect S O nine? Well, so if you consider some. Uh... To a gravity on some torus and uh, make some starting from some compactified uh, space time, then uh, I will get some different uh, result. But here I just start from. Uh, uh, sorry, so, so maybe I should say that asymptotically, this is the space time should have SO9 symmetry. Yes, but. But uh, the question is whether this is a good assumption. If you, uh, I was wondering, you, for example, for uh, the free energy, you had expressions which had uh, different powers of n and lambda and temperature, uh -huh. uh, and if, uh, and this should depend on the fact that uh, we are considering a nine-dimensional or nine uh, yeah. plus one dimension, yeah. and then. Uh, if we, for example, we have a black hole, a saddle point, which has a, which is like a black hole in lower dimension, we'll have different powers. And then yeah, the, que the question yeah, is uh, basically, uh, yeah. so the, 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 and the, you see that, so since these powers are different, uh, they could be dominating over the, uh, this SO9 invariant uh, uh, solution configuration that you are considering at this point in some uh, places in your parameter space. Well, well but in order to make some uh, compactified uh, space time, you, so, you, so my, maybe I should say, uh, where, uh, 
uh, assuming this asymptotically SO9 space time. And uh, in order to make, yeah, of course, if we consider whole the uh, uh, path integral of the graviton, uh, maybe we need to compare with some uh, the space time with compact pi dimension, but uh, that, that I, 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 I do not do, do that. So, so uh, basically, just to be very specific, you since you mentioned about this category of time type uh, instability, yeah. uh, it could be that it's not just a string over the 11th circle. We can make brains of higher dimension and they can wrap over different cycles that you may have, including the 11th circle. Okay, so we so, need to, yeah. So for example, in Gregory Lagrami, we assume asymptotically some uh, nine plus one dimension and one is compactified. Mm -hmm. And we fix this radius uh, of the uh, compactified dimension at the uh, infinity. So that's kind of boundary condition which we need to impose. So Sure, sure. but uh, my, my point is that uh, you may have black brain type solutions, which are not respecting the SO9. And then they could have, they could be dominating this, uh, right? Well, but you mean the diesel brain spreading over some one direction? Yes, 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 yes. Black, yeah, black yes. Brain. But the, the space time is infinity. So in order to do it, uh, the brain should be infinitely smeared. And such kind of configuration must uh, unstable due to this Gregory Lacram instability. So I don't think that dominate this configuration. Mm, okay, we, we, you may continue. We, may, we can discuss later after. Oh, yeah. This. So, okay. so what, yeah, the, the point is, so, uh, so in order to make, you, you mean this this one spreading along some uh, uh, direction, right? Uh, the, mm -hmm, the, mm -hmm. Yeah, you, uh, typical, uh, yeah, I, I don't think that is stable. Huh? Actually, if we know that it is stable because uh, because of supersymmetry, these are brain solutions in higher dimensional uh, no, brain solutions of the DFS. No, no, at finite temperature, it must be uh, unstable. I'm okay. pretty sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Or or you may have uh, black brain type solutions, not just black hole. So I, I'm just concerned whether you're considering the all possible saddle points and comparing all possible saddle points. Yeah, but, yeah. Yeah, you know that so black brain means, but the, the charge is, is fixed. I mean, this uh, diesel brain charge, and we do not uh, uh, set any brain charge. So only possibility is this diesel brain is aligning along one direction, uh, or may, maybe some several direction. Uh, but th this kind of configuration is unstable due to this Gregory Lacrame. So, yeah. Okay. So. Anyway, so thank you for interesting question. So yes, so now so we got uh, uh, three uh, so some uh, classical part and one loop tab and so uh, so here I just assume that uh, some BL theorem is satisfied and this uh, usually BL theorem tells us that that some uh, this kinetic term and interacting term uh, uh, becomes the same order. So here I just assume, uh, as I said, this kind of, uh, uh, sorry. Di so this type of interaction is a sort of some interaction between brain, diesel brains. So I, and uh, this, uh, uh, this uh, classical part is nothing but a kinetic term of the diesel brain. So, so it is natural to expect that uh, for some stable configuration, this uh, three, uh, uh, three part and this one loop or interacting part are uh, becomes the same order. So, so then, uh, and in addition, uh, I assume uh, one uh, strong assumption about this uh, x dot. So here I assume x dot is proportional to t times x. So x dot will scale in something like this. And t is the temperature of the system. So this is, I have to say, there's no justification for this assumption. Here, this video theorem is really not natural uh, assumption, but uh, on the other hand, this uh, assumption has no uh, evidence. But uh, uh, as, as you see, this kind of assumption works very well. 
But there is some、uh, argument about this assumption. So, first one is this looks like maximally chaos. So, if、uh, the system has satisfied、uh, maximally chaos, the、uh, this、uh, X mode should behave something like this. Here, X naught is the initial configuration. Then,、uh, the, if you、uh, uh, consider the derivative, uh, uh, this X dot、uh, is behaving something like lambda times X, and the lambda is a r e a p o n o f exponent. And if we assume the maximal chaos, this lambda、uh, is proportional to the temperature. Uh, this, uh, this is the conjecture of this、uh, Marja Shashenka Stanford. So, one One understanding of this relation is something like maximal chaos. Or maybe simply this x、uh, can be expanded like this in thermal field theory. So, then x dot is naturally proportional to temperature. But,、uh, but uh, yeah, th but th that, that is a, a bit subtle. So, anyway, so this is just an assumption. So, then、uh, by using this assumption,、uh, we can evaluate these.、Uh, this,、uh, Three part and one root tab as follows. So for three part,、uh, we, obtain, we can estimate this as、uh, something like this. So here, originally we have lambda as n over lambda, and we have n components. So th this,、uh, this summation of n provides another n. So totally it should be proportional to n square. And here I use、uh, for this、uh, x dot square, I use this assumption, and then、uh, this proportional to t. T square and x square. So, this is some,、uh, behavior, some scaling of this、uh, uh, three part. And similarly, we can estimate this one root term. And so, here we have uh, this uh, summation over n, and this, is,、uh, this provides us n square.、Uh, and also,、uh, this x dot two four and x,、uh, x seven can be estimated something like this. And then、uh, by uh, Yes, so then、uh, it behaves something like this. So then、uh, the Bayer theorem predicts、uh, this factor and this factor would be balanced. And、uh, we, then we obtain this kind of equation. And then、uh, we, we, we obtain uh, this, uh, this result. So this, the Bayer theorem、uh, predicts that this x,、uh, the x scale is something like this. Then、uh, these two terms are comparable. So it means、uh, x behaves something like this. And then、uh, we can、uh, estimate the、uh, order of free energy by using uh, this uh, estimation. So, what we should do is just、uh, substituting this、uh, result to this uh, uh, one of uh, this uh, term. And for, for calculation, it's easier to ins inserting this factor to this factor,、uh, sorry, this factor.、Uh, so, so, since the for, so free energy,、uh, sorry,、uh, so free.、Uh, Free energy is something like, sorry, sorry this, is, uh, uh, this is something like energy. I mean, this is, a, this is Lagrangian itself, so it's almost energy. And、uh, for order estimate, energy and free energy are similar. So we can estimate this free energy by using this、uh, term. And、uh, since this three term,、uh, three level term, and this one loop term are comparable, we can use、uh, one of them. And then,、uh, so here we just use this factor. And by substitution, By substituting this x to here,、uh, we, we obtain this one. And by calculating、uh, this stuff, we got this result. And this、uh, nicely a g r e e with the black hole result. So, so, then, so, so in this way,、uh, by using this kind of assumption,、uh, we can explain this uh, uh, black hole result from the、uh, diesel brain physics. And But there, there, there's, there's some、uh, remarks.、Uh, so, first of all,、uh, I assume that, that this kind of factor is small.、Uh, this is some、uh, contribution from the thermal loop、uh, effect. And、uh, in order to、uh, see the consistency, we need to check whether this factor is large or not. So, so this factor can be estimated by using this、uh, result, since x behaves behave something like this. So, this, this would behave something like this. And it means、uh, this factor should be large. It means、uh, the result would be reliable if、uh, this factor is large. It means strong, strong coupling. So, this、uh, suggests that、uh, this kind of behavior would be、uh, reliable at strongly coupled region. 
And on the other hand, if the coupling is weak, uh, we cannot ignore this kind of thermal factor. And then uh, this kind of uh, picture will break, and maybe this uh, perturbative analysis will work in the weak coupling, weak, weak coupling regime. Okay, so anyway, so in, in this sense, the result is uh, re reliable at strongly coupling, uh, strong coupling region. And uh, there's another remark. So I assume that this uh, tree level is comparable to one loop level. And uh, it means uh, all the uh, higher loop correction comes as a same order. So in that sense, the whole system is really, really strongly coupled. So, so just, may, may, sorry, may I ask a question? I'm a bit confused yeah. with yeah. Yeah. Uh, your uh, maximal chaos assumption. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, the, the speed actually grows to infinity as time goes by. How can these uh, objects, which are moving faster and faster, can yeah, be right. confined? Yeah. Can be confined in Maybe. some black hole? Isn't it counterintuitive? Yeah, no, that, that is yeah. <laughs> so may. One possibility is going to inside, and then if this is black hole geometry, this uh, and if uh, some uh, red shift effect does appear, and then uh, we uh, this near horizon in the real uh, black hole spacetime, this uh, near horizon region is in a sense infinitely large, so we can. Uh, we can go go to inside of the black hole, and this region is infinite. So maybe it it can uh, yeah, this this kind of behavior may work for in that situation. But uh, uh, as I said, this is highly yeah, it, it's just a kind of uh, sort of yeah uh, assumption, and uh, you please, please do not uh, think this kind of stuff seriously, yeah. Mm -hmm. But, so at least I would have expected that the expectation value of this x should be confined within something like a horizon oh, yeah, size, or, that's, that's, but that's, that's not that's, what you have here. So yeah, yeah, one real hole is yeah. If uh, yeah, if uh, this uh, near horizon region becomes infinitely large due to some. Uh, uh, effectively right. large by some uh, uh, red shift factors. So then, but but the yeah. size, you're, you're already fixing the size of the horizon because you're fixing the temperature. Well, I, I mean, uh, the size does, in, in gravity, the size does depend on the observer. And uh, you may know this, uh, black, this the uh, near horizon region is infinitely large due to some, uh, from the outside observer. So. If this kind of stuff happens in this uh, uh, gauge theory side, then uh, it might be possible to, yeah, go gross infinity, or, or, or maybe it's saturated. Uh, so, sorry, this exponential behavior, uh, you, you, when we discuss chaos, this kind of uh, behavior observed only some uh, at the beginning of uh, time evolution. Uh, so, but, but anyway, so this, yeah. Okay, so let, 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 let me ask a very specific question. Uh, you can claim that you have a black hole state only if you can show me that the expectation value of any power of x, trace x to power n expectation value is finite. Can you show this? Uh, but, sorry, uh, oh, the, but the babel of x? Uh... The expectation value of any uh, trace of any power of x. So th this is what, what I would uh, call yeah, the this, confined object. Yeah. So yeah, that, that is true. So so this is uh, we are doing some. Uh, so we assume some summary equilibrium state. So in the sense uh, that we know uh, time development. So in the sense, so this kind of uh, yeah uh, explanation is not so so reasonable. Uh, that, that's I I completely agree. Yeah. Uh, by the way, so one. One interesting observation is this, this uh, value of this uh, x does agree with the size of the horizon in the standard, uh, uh, sorry, the the agree with the radius of the horizon of the black hole. So maybe this kind of behavior also captures the black hole physics. So she, I, I mean, so I, I didn't mention it, but uh, if we uh, evaluate the size of the black hole radius in this uh, two-way two supergravity, uh, 
the si the radius is given by uh, uh, this this factor. So it means maybe this is also uh, related to uh, sorry. The, it may mean uh, this uh, uh, gauge theory calculation represents the size of the horizon. Yeah. Uh, can can I can I have a comment? Oh, oh, hi, Maybe uh, Shaheen's question has got to do with the following, that your, um, your entire setup is very good when you have these brains which are far from each other, uh -huh. right? Uh, yes. But a black hole it is more like a bound state of these things, uh, you know, yeah. of the brains. So I think maybe these are different kinds of states. Uh, I mean, they might have same same kind of scaling. Yeah. I mean, oh, sorry, uh, I I couldn't get the point. So sorry. Could, so, could you... so one way of thinking about the black hole in this theory yeah. is like when there are n d zero brains which are in a non trivial bound states. And yeah, some, you know, if yeah. you yeah. compute some, yeah. like the the square of x x square, you know, the trace of x square or something like that. Yeah. That sort of gives a notion of the size of this bound state. Yes, right? that is a, yes. Right. Yeah. Uh, but it appears to me that uh, the kind of things which you are doing is a good description when the brains are pretty far from each other. I mean, yeah, so the situation, sort of, yeah, can, you know, yeah, diagonalize I, I, all the matrices I, I, yeah. and, you know, but yeah, so but nevertheless, I mean, things might scale in a similar way. Yeah, and, so that's the point. So maybe this is related to this kind of behavior. So all of them are highly yeah, correlated, and uh, so maybe this analysis suggests that uh, in order to obtain, uh, so suppose we we want to calculate some exact. Uh, Result, then uh, this uh, result suggesting maybe you should start from uh, considering this uh, configuration, or maybe I just say this is a sort of hint to uh, tackle this difficult problem. I mean, solving this uh, exactly. Uh, then this kind of uh, behavior gives us some, provides some hint. But uh, yeah, but that is, yeah. So I agree, this, this kind of particle picture will break down when the black hole, once break, uh, black hole is formed. Right, so, right. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so I agree it's just some coincidence, but uh, yeah. So the, I guess this part, the, this kind of behavior suggesting this, the particle picture is completely wrong. Uh, so usually the, once the, the system is strongly coupled and uh, the, or the high, if this higher uh, rib correction contribute, uh, so then, uh, yeah, I, I agree. The particle picture must be completely break. That breaks down. So, yeah. Okay. So uh, basically, uh, to uh, uh, summarize uh, Shumit's point, uh, basically, uh, a black hole cannot be close to uh, a Coulomb branch of this theory. That's yeah, maybe so. Yeah, that, that's yeah. I I agree. So yeah. So or or this uh, this relation suggesting that Coulomb blood picture is uh, breaks down at this point. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but, I'm, I'm, or, or, or maybe I'm, I should say saturating. <laughs> right. Should, right. Yeah. So some a sort of border and maybe, yeah, maybe when this Coulomb blood picture breaks down. Uh, this, uh, this, yeah, uh, the black hole will be uh, realized. But on the other hand, uh, this standard, uh, uh, this kind of uh, analysis, this, this, this analysis, we assume the brain is co uh, coincident at, uh, from the beginning. And so this is a standard uh, uh, calculation. Well, I should say the babe of the scalar, starting from the babe of the X is uh, or zero, and uh, the standard calculation gives us this one. but so this result also looks very far from black hole. So, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, I, I agree. It's not a, no. it will not a some cool much. Yeah. 
Okay, so uh, you have five minutes if you can wrap oh. up. Okay, yes. So then I briefly explain the MCLA transition. So this is also highly speculative, but uh, maybe some uh, the result is suggestive. So, so then the question is what will happen in this, uh, uh, in this uh, temperature? So gravity projects some uh, transition, but unfortunately this uh, diesel brain cannot see uh, this events direction directly. So something strange happen. Yeah. Okay, so there is, there is some hint for uh, uh, this, this temperature. So, so, so first uh, let us just, just focus on the gravity side and uh, consider the meaning of this uh, temperature from the viewpoint of uh, our this kind of uh, something like Coulomb branch description. So, so then, uh, yeah. Uh, so we can evaluate the entropy of this uh, black hole, and the, this is estimated like this. This is ju just a free energy times beta, and behave something like this. And putting this uh, temperature uh, to this value, then we got uh, the entropy becomes n. So if we, uh, so if we use this. Uh, temperature below this critical temperature. Uh, th since this uh, entropy proportional to temperature, so below this uh, Tc, the, the entropy of this uh, black hole becomes less than n. So, so it's, uh, it's a bit funny. I mean, uh, the, usually the, the entropy is uh, in, in some, t uh, so, so if we consider particles, uh, the entropy should be larger than n, uh, n is the number of the degree of freedom. So, so it means so in this regime, I mean this uh, t less than t c, the degree of freedom uh, looks too small. And uh, so, uh, uh, yeah, I, I know this is really a rude argument because this kind of uh, the the entropy proportional to n for n particle is. Uh, we assume some uh, quasi particle picture and this kind of behavior is really subtle in the black hole system. But uh, anyway, so it's suggesting such kind of quad uh, quasi particle, uh, particle picture is completely wrong in this regime. And also we have another hint. Uh, again, this is also based on some quasi particle picture. But if we draw the, t uh, the potential for this one loop term, uh, this is something like this. And if we uh, focus on some uh, potential for single particle, uh, uh, so so we uh, I I can separate this single particle from this uh, uh, n uh, diesel brain and ask what is the potential uh, for this single diesel brain, and that that kind of potential can be estimated something like this. So then uh, we can estimate the height of the potential at the horizon, and the, then the height is. Uh, roughly given by this bio, and, uh, and particularly uh, at this uh, uh, critical temperature, uh, this uh, height of the potential agree with uh, T. So it means uh, the, the thermal fluctuation of the particle is given by roughly T. So this, uh, so, so it means uh, the, uh, the depth of the, uh, this potential agree with the thermal fluctuation of the particle. So and below this temperature, uh, this uh, the depth of the potential is uh, is uh, uh, na narrower than this fluctuation of the order of the temperature. So that is also suggesting that ki the kind of particle picture is completely broken in this temperature. So from the viewpoint of this uh, particle or diesel brain, so th the meaning of this temperature is something like some completely breakdown of this particle picture, and then. Uh, the question is what will happen in lower temperature. And this, here I borrow some, uh, some uh, particularized idea of this uh, paper by Lee and Martinet. And they they're discussing some uh, what will happen in this region by using some BFS metric theory. And uh, here, so, so the, the the, the things that I'm explaining is almost uh, uh, borrowing the idea of this uh, Lee and Martinic. So their idea is uh, very interesting. So below this uh, temperature, so, uh, so, 
So there, there may be still a sort of Coulomb branch, but not a Coulomb branch of this N diesel brain, but some Coulomb branch of M diesel brain bound state. So you may know uh, the diesel brain can compose some so-called zero energy bound state. And uh, then uh, we can con consider uh, they compose uh, M number of uh, diesel brain bound state. And then uh, these uh, bound state interact with uh, each other. And the picture of the interaction is uh, very similar to uh, 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 sorry, this kind of behavior. Uh, so then uh, again, we can use some video theorem and so on. And we can, uh, and also uh, we uh, need additional assumption that the entropy always saturated with N, uh, M is a number, uh, sorry, uh, saturated with M, M is a number of the bound state. Uh, this is uh, from the fact that uh, at this uh, critical temperature, entropy becomes N. So N is a, N is a number of the particle. So, and the assumption is below this temperature, the, the, the entropy is always keeps the number of the uh, uh, quasi particle. And here, quasi particle means the, uh, this uh, bound state. And then uh, by using a similar analysis, this PR theorem and this assumption, uh, we can reproduce this free energy. And uh, uh, so, so this is, yeah, <laughs> I'm not sure this is, I, I can say this is a derivation, but I should say this is just an explanation, but uh, I think this is very suggestive. Okay, so let me summarize. So we consider uh, this diesel brain analysis and try to explain this kind of phase transition. And future direction is uh, very challenging, but if we can do some exact computation of BFS theory, like uh, SYK model and explain this kind of phase transition, that would be very interesting. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Takish. Uh, is there any other questions or comments uh, for Takish? Mm -hmm. uh, if there are no comments or questions, uh, let's thank Takeshi again. Okay, thank you very uh, much.